Are you using Zoom and want to send that Zoom feed into Facebook? You can do that quickly and easily, whether it's a Facebook group, page, or profile. I'm going to show you how step by step. And there is one thing that you could be doing to level up your Zoom presentations that'll make you go uber pro. As an entrepreneur creating content inside of Zoom, you may be doing any number of things. A straight up Zoom call, a speech or a presentation, a webinar or masterclass, coaching calls, challenges, live events, podcasts, interviews. You may want your Facebook page, group, or profile to get this feed, especially if you want that special gallery view Zoom is so known for. So you're gonna need a pro account with Zoom in order to be able to do this. Once you're in your meeting or webinar inside of Zoom, look for the three little dots called more. Now, side note, we're gonna go through two different methods, one for your page or profile and a separate method for your groups. So click the more and then look for live broadcasting. If you are going to your page or profile, you can just hit go live on Facebook. Go ahead and change the meeting title, the meeting description, and then you'll choose timeline or page. And if you choose page, that you'll then select the page that you want to go live to. Then all you have to do is hit go live and you will be live on your page or profile. That is what's called the API method. It's easy breezy. However, if you're going live to a Facebook group, you do need to use what's called the RTMP method instead. You'll click more, go to live broadcasting, and instead of hitting live on Facebook, you're gonna go live to a custom live streaming service. That's gonna open up a similar looking page. However, it's requesting specific information that we then have to go to Facebook to get. Inside of the group, you're going to act like you're writing a post. Click the three dots and create live video. Now what we're gonna do is click go live. You can create a live video event as well, but we're just gonna click go live. Now you're in Facebook's live producer. You're gonna scroll down to streaming software. On the right hand side, there's the add post details. You're gonna need to fill this out. Your title and description are both required. So essentially what is happening is Zoom is being seen as a streaming software to Facebook, and we need to connect the two. Where it says advanced settings, click the arrow, and then click on persistent stream key. This will ensure that you do not have to actually change out this information. You can keep it handy and use it over and over. There are some downsides to using a persistent stream key, but that's not for this video. Copy your server URL and then go back into the Zoom web page that opened up. And what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna paste that right there inside of the streaming URL section. Go back to Facebook Live Producer and copy the stream key. And then go back and paste. The live streaming page URL, you're just gonna grab the group link and paste that here. No need to change the resolution and do not click this button. And then you're gonna click go live. Let it do its thing. It's gonna prepare it. Now the next thing you need to do is go back to Facebook Live Producer and it will now be showing your actual Zoom feed. As soon as it sees your Zoom feed, you now can click go live and you'll be live in the group. And if all you're doing is sending your plain video feed from Zoom and Facebook, level it up with graphics and overlays to gain credibility and attention. We have many ready to go options for you in our store. It'll change the game and I want you to join me for a deeper dive into what it takes to create professional video with ease and confidence. Livestreamingpros.com slash create.